MTP 87. We've had a little hiatus, uh, but I think that we filled the gaps uh, up from the last hiatus. Uh, and I'm fairly certain that we touched on this topic, but we never focused on this topic. And the topic is what brings people to my office or other implanters' office offices, and uh, how, how do you deal with it, and how do you you know uh, process this when it comes to your own pathology? And I just got off the phone with a fella uh, who was telling me that since he was 35, he's had erectile dysfunction, and now he's close to 50. So he has, he's had 15 years of you know, playing with pills, playing with shots, playing with everything. And uh, he never had a study to evaluate his inflow to the penis or his outflow. Inflow is arterial, outflow is veins. We're going to call them valves, the valves of the veins. If you look at our patient population, which we have quite a few, 80% um, of our patients come in here with the problem with the valves leading from the penis. Right, so if you can't trap blood in a penis, it's like blowing air into a balloon that has a hole in it. It's called veno-occlusive disease. That happens to be 80% of people that fail pills. It happens to be 80% of the people that come to my office, including the six, six 20-year-olds. Can you imagine these poor fellas never had an erection? And it, this is a valvular issue. Is it genetic? Yeah, probably. Uh, I can tell you two of the 20 year olds, I, I, one of them I did the uncle, the brother, the, uh, and the father. And then the, the, the rest of them, if they talk to their families, it's something that's congenital. It's not your fault. It's not something that you did. Now, yes, the valves can go bad if you're a brittle diabetic. They can go bad if you had bypass. There's a lot of reasons. But once you know that diagnosis and you need to go to a dedicated center where they can give you that diagnosis, then you know you got three options. High dose injection therapy with or without a cock ring. And I got to say cock ring because that's the only way you can buy it. Uh, penile implant or stop having sex. And that's not what I say in my office. But, but once you have that diagnosis, then you're directed and you're directed not to a bunch of charlatans that are offering you all kinds of crazy stuff, but to people that understand these three options. So it's a real disease entity. It's not here, it's here. And once you know that, it's gonna benefit you, it's gonna benefit you in your decision-making process. And as you go forward, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna make yourself the type of patient that says, I wish I would have done something five, 10 years ago. So that was Meet the Penis 87, see you for 88.